Hey everyone, it's Kara, and today we're gonna make an easy apple dump cake, and it is just like it sounds. It's super easy to do. You're basically just gonna dump a bunch of ingredients in your baking pan and bake it. Once it's done, you're gonna come out with a wonderfully gooey apple dessert. All right, so to make this, you're gonna take two cans of apple pie filling, and don't use the apples like the just plain canned apples you actually need the apple pie filling and so i'm just mixing this together because one of the cans ended up being a, a no sugar added so i just wanted to mix them up to make sure that it was all evenly dispersed in there and then just take a knife and cut up the pieces of the apple because I didn't want big apple chunks, it's up to you. If you don't mind that, you can just leave them that way. But I sort of cut mine up and then spread it evenly in the pan. So now you're going to take a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and then just sprinkle it evenly over the apple pie filling. And once you've done that, you're gonna take one box of yellow cake mix and sprinkle it over the top. Sprinkle the whole thing over it. I know it sounds weird. Don't add any of the box ingredients, just the dry cake mix. And then smooth it out so that it's evenly covering the apple pie filling. Now take a quarter cup of packed light brown sugar and then just sprinkle that all over the top. If you don't wanna use your hands, just use a spoon or something like that, that's fine. And I promise my hands were clean and only my family ate this, so please don't come for me. Okay, so now you're gonna take some butter and cut it up thinly sliced and it'll probably end up being about a stick and a half, maybe three quarters of a cup. Make sure the butter's cold. It's easier to move around that way and easier to slice. You wanna cover all of the dry cake mix with the butter slices. Try not to leave any big sections of dry cake mix or it'll just, it just won't bake properly. So once you've added all the butter, you're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes. And you can see here, I just pulled it out of the oven a little bit to see if there were any dry spots. And if there were any kind of puddles of butter, I just sort of took some out of the puddle and then put it onto any dry spots that I saw just to make sure that everything was evenly coated with the butter. So once it's done, set it on a cooling rack to cool, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. You don't wanna eat it right after it comes out of the oven because it's like hot lava but just you you do want to eat it warm so set it on the cooling rack to cool a little bit you can eat it plain like this or you can eat it with cool whip or ice cream i put cool whip on mine it is so good like this all right y'all happy baking and i will see you in the next one bye